Hey, you guys. What's that on your arm? Say hey, YouTube. Hey, YouTube. It's just something about the door being cracked for me. I don't know. I just like it closed. But anyway. <laughs> and what's a pregnant girl without snacks? A regular girl. I am not regular. Okay? So. And I'm doing good because I'm drinking water. Keep that in mind. It's either water, cranberry juice, or just healthy drinks. Okay? With that being said, as you know, if you do know, and if you don't know, I'm going to let you know. I'm in my third trimester, but it feels like I'm back in my first trimester. And around that time, which was like January, February, well, late January and then February and stuff like that, first trimester, I was really tired. I had really bad nausea and stuff, but now I'm okay. But the tiredness, the fatigue, all of that is it's back and it's out to get me, guys. And I'm kind of upset because I told myself, I'm going to get cute for me and my son. I'm going to dress up. I'm still going to look like a baddie, okay? I'm still going to do pop-ups on the gram and posting, you know, stealing people's man and whatnot. And oh my God, so good. And whatnot. But it's just like, girl. I can't even do any of that because I've been tired. Uh, this video, I am going to be getting glanced up, getting cute. I won't let my little pregnancy go to waste and I gotta slay while I'm pregnant, girl. So this is for the girls, okay? This is for us. And we finna get into it after I have a few chips. So first, I'm gonna start with my makeup and I'm gonna curl my hair. I'm gonna put on my press ons. I found these really cute press-ons at Walmart. We gonna do it the right way, cause people just be getting press-ons and just putting them on. And then you be like, oh my God, I hate these. They pop off too much, they suck. They're cute for like one day and they come off. Girl, I'm gonna show you how to glue them on right. So we gonna do all of it in this video. And I'm gonna show y'all my outfit and stuff too. So let's get started. They just busting me. Probably cause I haven't ate since breakfast. I'm hungry though. But I don't wanna eat cause then I'm gonna get a little lazy. And I gotta do better, I gotta do better. But I'm working on my eyebrow shape. I have to reshape them and stuff myself still because like sometimes I'll be having good moments where I pluck it just right. And sometimes I'll be taking it too far and messing my eyebrows up really bad. So, so, and I'm not afraid to talk about certain things in my life because I'm not ashamed of anything. I don't feel bad. I don't feel like I should be on the same level as somebody else or going the same speed as somebody else. The only person that I'm in competition with is who I'm looking at in the mirror right now and the girl I was yesterday. I want to be better than her. I just want to evolve into the woman that I dream to be. Not that it's important to put out there, but this is a life update video. And I just want to say I'm single and here's why. I decided I just don't feel... Like it's appropriate for me to keep settling for less no matter what my life looks like. Even if I am pregnant by somebody, if they're still treating me like less and I already gave them try after try after try with me and I know that I'm an amazing person and what I have to offer and bring to the table, I'm not gonna keep letting somebody take away that quality of me. I don't wanna try to find love in somebody that makes me try to fight to be in their life especially after I already told that person the boundaries that I have set and stuff for myself and they disrespect that and cross the line, we gotta be done. I don't care if you got me pregnant. I don't care if I lived in a box. I ain't finna settle for less. I deserve the best. I deserve to know what it feels like to be loved properly, gently. I deserve what it, to know what it feels like to be pursued because I deserve that. I'm not gonna keep settling for anybody that's gonna treat me like a secret like an option, like I'm less than, like I'm ugly, like I'm not who I am. Like, do you see me? And y'all should feel like that too. It doesn't matter if you let somebody run you over in the past or what you've been through or what you look like or who you are. You know what you deserve. And if you don't know what you deserve, think about you know what you want to be treated like because that's how you be trying to treat people. So you don't have to keep settling for less. 
be patient with the process be patient and work on yourself because the right person will come along you don't even have to look they will come to you and that's what i'm gonna do babe i'm gonna work on myself just think of it like this imagine if there was somebody in the world that didn't know who beyonce was one day they just look it online or hear one of her songs or anything and that's how they discover her they're gonna think, wow, she got this going on. She done done this with her life. She got this, this, and that. She done accomplished this. Got 30 million thousand Grammys. Done this with her life. She's amazing, sounds beautiful. She put all that work in. And somebody that's not on her level is not gonna come after her. Somebody that work on at McDonald's ain't gonna hit up Beyonce. Somebody that work at Walmart ain't gonna hit up Beyonce. Somebody that's trapping and in the streets and not doing so well, they're not gonna go trying to talk to Beyonce. They know that they ain't on her level to be trying to speak to her or even approach her. You gotta remain unapproachable to lanes. So the right guy can come along and you'll know. But sometimes even the guys that seem right ain't even right either because of personal issues, mommy issues, little boy issues. They just be grown men with big boy stuff and be trying to act grown and they really not grown, just be acting like a kid. So you just, it's a lot that comes with it. You just gotta know, girl, you just gotta know. Listen to how people talk to you, the way they treat you, you know? Like that, if a guy is asking to like, oh, can you pay for this, this and this for me? But they don't do nothing for you. Sometimes that you wanna ask, can they like, you know, help you out, provide or do this? Like you said, you wanted to be there for me that way. So I'm finally like stepping out of my pride to ask you for a hand and they say no or try to be weird about it, you already know what's up. The door, babe. That's not the energy that I want. And I don't ever pursue a man, ever, because once they feel like they can do that without having to put in the work for you, that's gonna give them a cue to just be lazy with you and not treat you how you deserve, to be feminine, to do more masculine than they should be treating you. You know what I'm trying to say? Just like, people are probably like, oh, but you got two kids. Like, who gonna want you? This and that. I'm not worried about who want me right now. I'm worried about being a better me. And I don't have to look. I'm beautiful as heck. You're beautiful as heck. We don't even have to look. Like I said, nobody working at McDonald's finna step to you doing and accomplishing your goals and working on yourself working on your self-healing working on your craft doing things that you love like beyonce somebody like jay-z a billionaire is gonna try to step to you babe and that's exactly what i'm gonna do i don't care how lonely it gets i can never be lonely it, for me it's different because i got kids well i have a little girl and a little boy on the way some of y'all out there don't have no kids and still don't be okay being by yourself y'all gotta learn how to be okay by yourself and wait for real. Just saying, this is what I had to tell myself. So everything that you hear me saying, I'm not going to be a hypocrite and just say it to you guys. I'm saying this stuff because like I said, I'm working on my self healing and everything that I've been through and just thinking about the choices that I made and people who should have never got my time and attention. I'm working on all of that stuff right now. And I just want to share that with you guys. So I just had to like, you know, I just had to say that. I just had to say that. Okay, girl. So I'm back. And I did my brows, finally, finally, finally. So I'm just at a point in life where I'm not gonna let my past become my prison and keep allowing old past thoughts and emotions take over my new day, my new hour, my new second, none of that. I don't care how happy I feel like I am. I'm never gonna be content with myself, if I still feel like I got them old feelings, thinking about old stuff that's gonna make me sad, I'm not gonna have a sad pity party for myself. I'm gonna move forward and do what I got to do. So anyways, moving on to the foundation. I'm gonna shake it up. Don't let the don't let the bags on my eyes fool you. I will take your that. So I like to put at least that much. And go ahead and spread it out and blend it but anyways girl this ain't a makeup tutorial let's get back into the chit chat i gotta put some on my neck because pregnancy has made my neck darker than my face which i hate i try to use a turmeric bar on my neck and i think it's helping but that's just kind of like naturally what happens 
two black women and yeah and this is the same color it might look like i promise the foundation i'm using is the same color as my skin it might not look like it on camera but i promise it is and my neck is just a different shade because i've gained weight and my body is still adjusting to that weight and it made my skin darker even though i have barely went outside barely been in the sun for real that's just what happens it definitely happened to me in my last pregnancy so i know what i'm talking about okay and i was way bigger in my last pregnancy nose was like this <laughs> okay just working on a lot of self-healing i like to do a lot of self-reflecting planning i love to write in my journal or use my notes um and you know sometimes i'll be feeling like even though I have people to talk to and there is people that I have in my life that motivate me and try to push me to be a better person and vice versa to the people that I have in my life, I like to be like that for them as well. It's still, um, I gotta be that person for myself in my life too. I can't just depend on everybody else, you know? I definitely don't depend on social media to tell me I'm beautiful or I can do it or good job girl or you're doing so, so good, none of that gotta do it for myself it's it's been kind of a journey for me as far as being an influencer a youtuber a mother a mom manager every all of those things have been I don't want to say a challenge but an experience and you know everything that I do know is self-taught and not self-taught as in I just learned along the way. Of course, I watch tutorials on how to edit and just things that can make my platform, you know, more presentable. Got to contour this bad boy. Because a couple people done told me, girl, your nose look pregnant too. You getting your nose looking a little pregnant. Like early on in my pregnancy because I gained weight so fast. Like I gained 10 pounds in one week in February and that was at the very beginning of my pregnancy I was eating like crazy and didn't stop so I'm surprised I'm not close to 200 pounds I'm getting there I believe like I'm either 175 or 180 right now the biggest I was when I was pregnant with the cure was like literally 200 pounds I was 198 with her that's big I'm um, just realizing even though a lot of things that happened to me happened to me Everything doesn't happen for a reason. Some people are just evil and do things, but I'm better than stooping down to anybody's level and reciprocating that energy. The best revenge, get back to me, is success, happiness, peace, all of that. And that's what I'm going for. I'm not out to get anybody or anything. And I just have to realize I have too much to lose have too much to lose and number one thing that I could lose is myself I gotta do this for myself I gotta do it for my kids Some people are very precise when they put on their contour and stuff I just do it like this cuz I fix it up with my brushes so that's how I do it I do it like that and I love to just blend out the rest of my face with this brush it is so bomb so bomb so first I start with right here because I got to blend it into my foundation and it's all about blending make sure you blend 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 before you put your setting powder because once you put that setting powder it's set just blend it out right here as well between the concealer and the contour that I have put down and just make sure like it's blending right there but I don't completely use this brush for that part um, I actually go in with this brush and I got this for Christmas. I got it for Christmas. And I just whoop, 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 whoop. like that when I do my concealer. Same thing to the other side, babe. Give it that extra blend that it needs. And now I'm gonna go in the middle of my nose. 
the darker makeup right here to contour my nose and that's why I don't be so worried about getting it precisely on my face because I just blend it out with this and it just does the work but you got to make sure you're holding it right I always hold at the end of my brush when I'm doing my makeup you hold it too close to that's too heavy of the hand you gonna mess it up and that is how I blend out my makeup before I put the setting powder I put it in this little eyelash container because this is what it looked like and I need like a certain amount. I need it out to do what I'm trying to do. Let's start with my nose first. And go all the way up here. Period, pull. Look at you learning new stuff to add to your makeup routine, period. And that's how I apply it. I don't apply a heavy, generous amount. Just enough that it looks white, but not too much that is falling off and just smoky powdery stuff in the air because that's how I used to do it. I'm not trying to down talk anybody's way of doing it if that's how you still do it, but baby, that wastes a lot of product. If you could just do it like this, you know? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I let this sit for about two minutes or like a minute and a half now while this is sitting and chilling like that contour powder from dollhouse pretty and look at it like i've been using this for like three years no actually two years i've been using this for like two and a half years now and with this brush lightly tap go ahead and add that hit that cheekbone right there and now that I did that part, now that I went in with the contour powder on my cheeks, I feel comfortable going in with the sponge that has the uh, powder on it. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. So far, this is how we come in. I like to dust off the heavy parts and then pat everywhere else. And what I like to do is just go up under my eyes like that a little bit. That's all I really like to do with her. Go ahead and add some setting powder to my eyebrows as well. Some people bake their eyebrows too. I don't bake them or anything, but I do like to set them. Period, girl. Period, girl. So now I'm going to add my mascara. Do the hair. Nice. Be up. Uh, You can get this at Walmart for like four bucks. And it just be irritating and aggravating. Let me just rip this piece of hair out. Thank God it's a wig. <sighs> Irk. This NYX eyeshadow palette it has lots of colors and I like to dip into the red lightly and dip into the orange. was per like I don't want to just be looking all plain I used to never use blush at all like I ain't never used blush this much before but now I do brown this is an eyebrow pencil but I use it for my lip liner Girl, this is from e.l.f. 
and it gets the job done, okay? So first I'm gonna go on with the Coco K. My lips are big. I didn't mean to take a long pause, but yeah. Love a good glossy lip. Ow, my ear, oh, my ear. So what I did with this install is I just used freeze blast spray because I didn't really want to wear this wig for that long. Like I didn't want to wear it for no week, just a few days and then move on to the next look I had in mind. So I think I want it to be like that. Like that's real cute. Like I like the like I like the sweet. Give me the oh oh my eye. <laughs> okay. What's the sweat? See y'all in a second. About to set up the nail cam. Here's how I glue on my press on nails, girl. And I think you should too. Let's get into it. So firstly, it was about $4 from Walmart. As you can see here, it comes with a wooden stick to push your cuticles back, a baby emery board, and an alcohol wipe to get all the dirt and oils off of your nails before you apply them. So I'm just going to be briefly showing you what I did before putting them on which was use my alcohol wipe to clean my nails off as you can see i had a lot of makeup and junk on my nails so this definitely came in clutch go ahead and match up the nails that fit you best and i start with a thin layer of glue nothing too thick and these nails also have the sticky stuff on the back but i'm going to use glue for extra hold so here I'm scraping the glue and then pressing it into my cuticle to make sure that it's secure at the bottom as well. Then holding it down firmly on all angles to make sure that it's secure. Thin layer of glue, scrape the back of the nail with the glue, then push into the cuticle and press down. Go in with your emery board and shape the edges up so you can get that cute salon-like shape finish. Okay guys, so these are my nails. Go ahead and show you guys my full outfit. Um, I have on these cute double C earrings that I just got at this little mall in Atlanta. And I just got on this cute pearl necklace to compliment the look i think it complements the jacket that i decided to wear here is the jacket got a nice little hint of blue going on to complement the jacket and the gold on the glasses complements the earrings i'm a little too big for heels babe i mean i could still wear them <laughs> and whatnot but like it's just really uncomfortable like i'm just i'm too far the heels oh. Look at me. These are the slides that I decided to wear with the outfit. Um, I think they're cute. They got little rhinestones in them. They're cute little studs. They are cute. So that would complete my whole outfit. And I'm just really loving this hair. This is one of my like my favorite, favorite hairstyles to do 
short boss lady waves like That's how I pull it together and get cute. Definitely gonna spill somebody's man. Period. They're hoping it to yours. <laughs> I'm just kidding, girl. Okay, so that concludes for this video. That is all that I wanted to give the girls for this one. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you liked it. Hope I motivated some of my pregnant girls out there to get up, girl. Get up. Do your thing. You still fine. You ain't lost it. You still got it. Still popping, okay? Still turning heads. All of that, okay? Just don't forget it. Don't forget who you are in the midst of things. Cause then you end up taking too much time off. And then you just gotta pop out, you know, and remind them what's going on. Y'all see my cute little drawings of here, maybe? <laughs> They're so cute. I got a whole bunch. I got a folder full actually in my closet. I love my little pictures. Like they're amazing. Ooh, they're so cute. But anyways, y'all, yeah, I really hope this video was fun for my channel, for my viewers to watch. Let me know what you want to see next. Um, like I mentioned a few times before, my comments are off. So in the future, if you see this, let me know what you think as well. If they ever get turned on for these videos, because they've been off lately. Yeah, I still got it. You still got it too. So get get glammed up. Get glammed up. Bye, y'all.